Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, welcome back to my channel. Hey, thanks again for uh, liking my previous videos and subscribing. I really do appreciate it. It does mean a lot to me. Uh, but anyway, I'm back. And um, just a little update on the Zastone UV8DR. Uh, today, we're going to check the power. Remember, I, in my previous video, I had said that it was doing about 10 watts. So, I, I've kind of put together a little setup to kind of test this uh, power output and uh, let's see what it really does. So here is the Zastone UV8DR. Well, somebody's on the, on the frequency right now. Let's change it. Let's see if this kind of focuses. This is the uh, Zastone UV8DR which is an exact clone of the Yesu uh, VX8DR. Um, just the externals, the casing and everything, the layout maybe, but the electronics, the electronics obviously are not the same, totally different. It, I think it's probably close to being a Baofeng than, than a Yesu, right? It's only $53, so that, that, uh, it's only a clone, Chinese radio. Anyway. We're going to test out the power output on UHF and VHF and uh, what I'm going to use is this little SWR bridge, SWR power bridge. All right, I'll put all the links where you could buy all this stuff and I'll put all the links in the uh, description. So this is the SWR power bridge. Okay, let's see, let's see if this thing focuses. Come on, let's go. Okay, and what we're, we're going to attach uh, to it is a, uh, a dummy load. This dummy load is a JTDL200M. It's good for the very, very, very low bands up to 600 megahertz and actually goes up to a 1 gigahertz. It's pretty good. Uh, you could put in 200 watts continuous for 5 watts for uh, 5 seconds and about 35 watts continuous so it's way more it's more it's actually adequate for what we're going to be doing because this this radio should be putting out about five watts on UHF VHF so this is the dummy load guys anytime you guys are doing any tests uh, that, that it requires you to key up your radio and emitting a signal always always go on your dummy load you don't want you don't want to interfere with other station that's malicious interference even though it's not intended to be that but you are you are interfering with other stations and you might cause a lot of uh, issues and headaches so always FCC rules state that you must use a dummy load when testing on the air alright guys let me put this together and I'll show you how this goes uh, together Alright guys, so I have put this uh, setup together and uh, this should minimize any losses and hopefully it works. You're seeing this here, uh, I didn't test it, so it shouldn't make sense, it should only work. So here, here's the setup, right? So we got the radio, right, the AV, uh, UV-ADR going to a uh, PL259 to female adapter to female SMA adapter so female SMA adapter to, to PL259 going into the SWR bridge right and the uh, antenna which is our dummy load screws right into the SO239 here so there isn't any there shouldn't be any losses here this is designed to be put between either an antenna, uh, a radio and an antenna, or a radio and a dummy load. So that this is this is exactly what it's designed for. So let's uh, let's start our test. See how this works. So I have programmed. I, I'm actually in VFO mode here. I don't know if you can see this. Hold on. I'm in VFO mode here and I have a UHF, a VHF frequency. Ok, 
okay? I have a, a, a VHF frequency, hold on. A VHF frequency and a UHF frequency. Why is this shutting off? Hold on. Alright guys, so I have a, uh, a VHF frequency in here and a UHF frequency in here. They're both simplex. Simplex for 2 meters and simplex on uh, UHF. <clears throat> so we could test, right? So let me set the, um, the U a VHF first. Let me set the, uh, the calibration on the SWR, right? And now we're, we're not going to test SWR because it's a dummy load and it's a perfect match right so right now we have it on the scale of 150 this could this can measure up to 150 watts so now I'm going to transmit on the um, 2 meter side the VHF portion and there you go it's that's about seven and a half watts guys that's seven and a half watts probably eight watts so it's probably the same circuit board or the same radio as the uh, Baofeng UV8HP or something like that, the one that does 8 watts. So it's probably the same finals as that. So that's 7.5 watts what I'm seeing here on the meter. I'm going to, uh, let's see, I'm going to set the UHF portion. We're going to calibrate that, see. So we're going to calibrate right there. And now I'm going to set it to wattage. And let's see what the wattage is on UHF. Well, there you have it. It's about 4 watts. 4 watts on UHF, which is what you want to see. It's not that bad. Now, this radio's been charging all night, so it's a fresh battery. So, um, yeah. So let's try that again. Uh, it's UHF. It's about 4 watts on simplex. On simplex, 446500. Sorry guys, getting calls. Very busy day today here in the uh, in the shack. <coughs> so I apologize. <coughs> and I'm also under the weather still, so trying to get out of it. Well, anyway, guys, so that's that's really much the test. I'm gonna have all these um, items listed in the, uh, the description. So if you wanna purchase the stuff, just to have in the shack, it's always nice to have instruments to test your equipment. This is these are very simple tests. And uh, anybody can do them. Uh, always uh, ni nice to know what your radio can do and what it's capable of. Or if you have issues, it's good to know what the radio is, uh, how it's performing. Um, <clears throat> other than that, that's a really simple test. If you want, like I said, we established on VHF portion, we have uh, we have uh, seven and a half watts, and on UHF we have. 4 watts, which is exactly what you want to see. So, with that said, guys, hopefully this kind of clears up what I had said in my previous videos that it was doing 10 watts. It's not. Definitely less. Uh, but it's definitely putting out more than 5 watts, which is great. And uh, next, we're going to test out some uh, antennas. We're going to test out the stock antennas that this radio came with. And we're going to test out some antennas that I had purchased at Hamfests, like the uh, Nagoya NA771 and the Diamond. We're going to test out the Diamond antenna. This Diamond right here. This is a, these are authentic. These are authentic uh, antennas, by the way. Be careful. You, there's a lot of uh, uh, fake antennas out there. This is the Diamond SRH519. We're going to test out this antenna, the little rat tail here. And uh, we're also going to test out this uh, signal stick. This signal stick is uh, it's about 19 inches. It's about nine in 19 inches, which is about a quarter wave on 2 meters. And uh, it's resonant on UHF as well. So we're going to test out this antenna as well to see how really good this is. This was about $30. $30. It's pretty expensive for a piece of whatever this is, this piece of wire here. So tune in next time. Hopefully you liked this video. Hopefully this video was useful to you. If it was, please like it, subscribe. I'll try to put up some more videos. And uh, if you guys have any ideas of what videos I should put up, please let me know. I'll try my best to, uh, to accommodate. 
With that said, best 73, and uh, enjoy your radio. This is N2SAL Radio 73. Bye-bye.